Hey guys, welcome to part 2. We're still here in Northern Ireland and we're just enjoying our Ulster breakfast. After this, we'll be on our way to Enniskillen for the next 3 days. We can't wait to share more of our adventures, so better hang around for more. Hey guys, so for the first part of our journey actually takes us here inside Enniskillen Castle in a county called Fermar here in Northern Ireland. We actually arrived quite early here in Enniskillen so we thought of visiting their main attraction in town which is their castle. So a quick few facts about this place is that a lot of battle have actually taken place in this castle during the 15th century. Uh, uh, the Irish have actually taken hold of this, of this castle and even Queen Elizabeth I of England have sent troops here. Uh, right now it's mostly a museum and it's housing a lot of cultural identities of now modern Enniskillen and it also has some very old interesting artifacts about Northern Ireland so we highly recommend you guys coming here to check the castle out if you are around here. Can we like bring onions back home? Look, there's a lot here. Look. Hey guys, so for our next accommodation here in Northern Ireland, we actually found this really lovely place here in Enniskillen. The hosts of this place were very nice and they gave us a lot of information about the area and gave us plenty of suggestions of what we could do over the next couple of days here. So it is an unsweet um, bedroom, it has a queen size bed and very spacious toilet and our very old closet. It also has a very lovely view of the Northern Ireland countryside. So we would put in the link, in the put, put a description about this place in the link if you want to book and find out more about this place. Hey guys, so the next part of our journey actually takes us here in a place called the American Ulster Park. It is an open air museum in the outskirts of Omar here in Northern Ireland. This place actually inf uh, emphasizes the centuries of the Irish, Irish immigration to the United States and it shows the struggles of those people who migrated at the time and of how they cope their travels. You can see here the examples of the houses of those people back in the days and the sort of struggles of how they live day to day and uh, it also sort of what cool about this museum is that they actually sort of shows a timeline of what it, it looked like between the three centuries of the immigration and those sort of Irish who managed to come back here and sort of build better houses um, over the centuries. So. So yeah, so we highly recommend visiting this area here. It's a very, very nice uh, sort of open air museum and lots of interesting facts to see. So we're going to show a little bit of, of them in this vlog. So I, we hope that you like them.
Hey guys, so this is actually one of our favourite parts of of this uh, museum because it actually houses the um, sort of small sort of shops and pubs have started to appear over the centuries and these people here are actually some of the descendants of those people who immigrated back in the days and came back here to continue to live here so they've opened up shops there were whiskies there were sort of chemists um, and it also shows like what they were selling at the time so it's a very interesting place if so we highly recommend you seeing this area here this museum here is, is full of really good stuff Hey guys, so we actually had to cut short our, our tour in the American Ulster Park as we actually had to come down here really quickly as we booked it on the same day. So we decided to go canoeing around this place called Coralea. It's actually a river and it's the sort of borders the, the border between the Northern Ireland and the actual Republic of Ireland. So we thought of actually spending the rest of the afternoon here and just uh, sort of canoeing around the area and seeing what's around. This, this side. So guys, that's the end of this vlog for now. Part of our canoeing experience actually included a nice outdoor jacuzzi and we picked a really lovely day to be here. I'd say this is our favourite part of this holiday so far. And uh, what else could you do to end a nice day like this to have a nice okay. bath in a jacuzzi? If you want to know more about this place, we'll also put more information about this in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned to follow more of our adventures.